first and foremost, uh, through this GYF, it has been able to expose Africans uh, to the African youth. This is an opportunity to learn, connect, and get advice from other regions with you. You are 20 mean for African youth a uh, good opportunity, a good opportunity for them to learn, to share experience with you know, the other youth from the another country. Uh, it's a good opportunity for them to be open and uh, to learn more about cooperative from another region. Like that one, when they go back to the country, they can apply that uh, experience. As a youth, you can participate in terms of uh, economical and also to, as African youth, be able to exchange of goods and services and transfer of knowledge to each other and also to capacitate one another and innovate and also to build our economy as an African country. So we really need to participate in a GYF20 and it was fruitful, it was a, a learning curve experience and also to understand the importance of, of working together as a youth cooperative in Africa. It's an opportunity to meet youth from around the world, sharing experience and building potential cooperation for the future. Uh, Toronto African Youth uh, GYF20 um, means a lot means a lot. It means that uh, uh, we learn and create network as uh, African youth is. It means inclusion because we have a chance to participate in the global cooperative movement. We are able to understand what is affecting cooperatives globally. So we are included in all the key issues that are affecting cooperatives. So I think it means that we have a chance to also implement great ideas that other people are doing and we can be able to positively change the cooperatives that we actually work in. The GF20 um, means a lot to, to us, African youth, because I think the level of exposure is priceless because um, it gives us a total different perspective to what we know back home or our way of life and things like that. And the networking possibility is endless. And considering in Africa we have so many endless ideas, I think access to funding and expertise again is another thing. So I think the GYF20 means a lot to us. GYF20 is a great uh, platform. Uh, for the African youth, I would say we are represented, we are included, and we are ready to participate in making the cooperative society a better place in Africa. The platform uh, gave us an opportunity to, to share learn, interact and get what could be suitable to expand the cooperative movement for economic empowerment in Africa. UIF20 is a network hub for the youth in Africa. It has opened a learning point for all the youth in Africa and it is going to be very helpful in developing the youth, in promoting cooperative creation and cooperative unity amongst the youth. This will allow networking across the whole world to the youth in Africa. I think for one, exposure. That's important that we come and we've seen different uh, models, different ways of doing things from different regions and it has just gotten like a wider view of how to do cooperatives, especially for those who are trying to do that back home. See changes that will uh so ensure that the youth are, are favored. Uh, number two, socio-economic uh, empowerment programs that will favor the youth out there. Number three, a good political environment that will enable the youth to, to do their business. And also the tax regime should also favor the youth. Yeah. GYF20 has opened a vista for African youth to rally around, to network with our counterparts from other continents of the world, so as to remedy the various defects that exist not only within the African cooperative movement, but within the social, the economic, the environmental, and the political space within the African continent. Um, this particular forum is uh, interesting. I say interesting because of one, it gives exposure 
two for me it uh, opens up those cultural boundaries so uh, when we look at uh, serving within our areas of sphere we also look at it from a global perspective because young people end up being exposed to different cultures and all and three i'm a believer of capacity building the only way for a young person to develop his mindset is by him or her investing in acquiring information and I believe from uh, the past four days that uh, we've been here in Malaysia, I, my, my, my outlook onto things uh, from the young people around me is that we're able to get information which is uh, actually important in terms of their growth and in terms of their well-being.